overtake and what? Recover it Recover. all. Pursue. I don't know about you, but the word pursue speaks of running after. I believe that the enemy has stolen some stuff from us and we are getting ready to get them back. Is there anybody who wants to get back what the enemy has taken? The enemy has taken our joy. The enemy has robbed us and we are getting ready to go back into the enemy's camp and we are going there with an hostile intention and to take back what he has taken from us. The enemy has come in and he has disturbed our marriages. He has disturbed our family. If you take a look at the crime that is happening into our country, the enemy has been having a foothold, but it's time that we rise up church. Is there anybody who wants to rise with me? Oh, you are so amazing. It's when, 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 when David went back to Ziklag and realized that he has lost everything and that the city had been burned, the Bible said that he inquired of the Lord, what should he do? And God said to him, or oh, he said, God, should I overtake, or should I pursue after this truth, this truth? Shall I overtake them? And he answered, Pursue for thou shalt surely overtake them, and not only overtake them, but you shall recover them. Amen. That's the type of God that we serve. Amen. And if we're going to take up what the enemy has, we can't sit down. Amen. We can't clap our hands and just feel cute like that. We are going to get up and be hostile and say, I am going to take back what the enemy has taken from me. He has robbed me long enough, and it is time for me to take back what the devil has taken from me. And so as you celebrate three uh, years of ministry, go into all the world, Jesus says, and preach the mighty gospel. And they that believe, baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. God bless you.